Hey everybody, I'm Andy Smith, your hostess with the mostess. I'm a 30 year comic book veteran, having worked for Marvel Comics, DC Comics, Image Comics, Cross Generation, Ominous Press, you name it, I've probably worked for them. And I do other things art wise outside of comics in the field of advertising. I've also written some books on drawing comics you might have seen, uh, drawing American manga superheroes, Drawing Dynamic Comics was my first book. And I also did the handy little How to Draw Superhero sketchbook where all you need is a pencil because you do all the work right inside the book. Enough about that. This is the Book Look series. The Book Look series is where I grab a book off my library. You can see the tons of books I have behind me. And I go through it page by page with you so you can see if it's a book that you might want to buy. I like to know what I want to buy before I buy it, and I feel this is a way to give you some insight into these books. So join me for today's book look. Thanks. Hi, de ho. Welcome to another book look with your hostess with the mostess, Andy Smith, 31 year veteran of the comic book industry. And what I do on these book looks is I pull a book off my shelf and I take you through it page by page. So you can see it. You might be interested in buying it. Now you can see it before you buy it. Or just out of curiosity, you might want to check it out. Whatever it is, thank you for joining me. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And of course, please support me in my creator-owned endeavors, which is First Man. I'm cranking along on the book. There's a link in the description below so you can go check it out. 64-page uh, square-bound graphic novel. If you like superhero stuff, you will love this book. So please go check that out. Now, let's get into Draw Fight Scenes Like a Pro by Jeff Johnson. Jeff Johnson has been drawing comics for, I believe, a year longer than me. So maybe he's on to year 32 in the business. Um, Jeff is around my age. I met him up at Marvel Comics in the offices when I was working on Quasar. He was working on Wonder Man. This goes back to like 1992 or 3. Uh, we've been friends ever since. We worked together at CrossGen. If you don't know, Jeff is also into martial arts. Uh, he loves doing books. When, he, when he's doing comic books and fight scenes, he loves, loves to get the fighting accurate. You know, have somebody fight in an accurate fighting style and such. So uh, this book is a wealth of knowledge. Definitely check it out. Draw Fight Scenes Like a Pro by Jeff Johnson. Let's give it a look. Uh, look at that. Just wrote a little thing for me on, on the inside of the book. That was nice of him. Draw Fight Scenes Like a Pro. Jeff Johnson. This book came out also uh, 2006. Um... I love Jeff's art. It's uh, Jeff's art's very uh, unique to me from the standpoint of um, it's it, it. You don't really look at it and go, "Oh, he likes this artist or this artist." I mean, you can tell he likes Kevin McGuire from the 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 facial expressions and some of the 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 way he constructs figures. But he definitely has his own unique look to his work. I, I've been a fan of Jeff since I met him, and of course. Uh, since, you know, Wonder Man. That's when I first discovered his work. So, a bunch of chapters here, learning the basics, comparative martial arts, drawing figures in combat, drawing superpowers, creating environments, defining your characters, stages of fight scenes, putting it all together, and then other professionals. So, he had other professionals contribute to the book, myself being one of them. It's got a forward by Chuck Dixon. We worked with for a while on a book called Way of the Rat at CrossGen. Love the dynamics Jeff stuff has. Uh, Jeff's a design machine too when it comes to like backgrounds and stuff. The guy can just make up great backgrounds. And for a while, he was working in animation. Uh, and before he became a character designer in animation, he would he was a background artist in animation, designing backgrounds. And then he did storyboards, and he's done character design. He's worked on a lot of uh, the DC material in animation. So, I think he's worked on Transformers as well. Constructing a mannequin, what do I always say? you got to have a good mannequin to start with. 
<clears throat> excuse me, uh, anatomy at a glance. So he's just showing his anatomy, not his anatomy, but the anatomy breakdown. Every good book needs that. Uh, different poses here, showing the anatomy and how, how it works. Even going into some drapery, which is uh, something I still, you know, I still struggle with. I do my best with drapery, but I am by no means a, uh, a master at it. Uh, putting it all together. So you've got the spine, quick shapes, blocking in the mannequin, doing anatomy, and then he, he shows a final drawing. Uh, different poses here. This is Jeff's designs. I mean, this is great armor design. Very cool creature design here. Love this big dude just kind of coming at us. I love how the jaw is kind of cocked over a little bit because your bottom jaw can move slightly left to right, not just up and down. And he's got it cocked over a little bit, lip popping out, big gnarly teeth. And of course, the figure in action, got to be able to do that. You want to draw comics, got to be able to draw the figure in action. Cloth in motion. You know, if somebody has a cape or long clothes flowing, Definitely use that to your advantage to uh, to show the motion in the figure. Use hair, you know, if the character has long hair, use that as well. I see something here. Yeah. Great for shortening stuff here. So just taking you through, showing some different poses here. Now he's talking about using photo reference. Uh, I talked about that, obviously, in my book. Uh, every artist definitely delves into photo reference. Here, he didn't actually own the guns, of course, but he could still have a friend pose. And you can tell he didn't trace that photo. This guy is a lot bigger than this dude in this photo, but you use it for the pose. You can use it for the hands. And then with your knowledge of drawing basic shapes and such, or reference looking at real guns, you can either design guns or draw in uh, real guns. This is Jeff himself. Look, he's posing with a couple uh, bowling pins. And now from that, use your imagination. You've got this guy, Asian warrior here, and turn him into swords. More friends posing for him, turning into different things. I love the way Jeff draws capes and clothing and stuff. Just everything Jeff does has a nice sense of mass and form to it. And now he's talking about comparative martial arts. Aikido, I believe Jeff is uh, more experienced in Aikido than any other form of martial arts. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Aikido he's, he's more skilled in. And he just talks about the different things. So this is kind of cool because... You know, if you're drawing, like, if you're drawing Superman fighting, you know, Zod or Doomsday, that's a, that's a knockdown brawl, punching. But if you're drawing Batman, if you wanted to, you could be like, man, I'm going to draw Batman doing something. Because Batman is a character that's supposedly good at everything. So you could have him do boxing or jujitsu or Muay Thai or karate, Aikido, whatever. And you can bring that sense of realism to the work. And then, of course, there's just straight up kung fu because you know what they say what's that you ask they say everybody is kung fu fighting that kid was fast as light okay nobody comes here to listen to me sing i think jeff knows taekwondo as well i believe he knows taekwondo as well i don't know i could be wrong it's been a long time since i've talked to jeff about the stuff i know he knows some weapon stuff so they you know different types of weapons People might use uh, inventing martial arts and weapons. So these are just designs he's done. I love this guy. This guy's awesome too. Pain. Uh, once again, Jeff is a great, great designer. And just the proportions on this guy. Really, uh, really nice here. Really nice stuff. As I called him at Cross Gen, Jeffy J. And drawing figures in combat. So he goes through composition and things. 
here, breaking down this into its simple shapes and stuff. Same with here. And this book is all in black and white. You know, I know it was supposed to be in color, but I know that the deadline was creeping up and they had to get it out. So they just put it out in black and white. This is another one that it would be cool if Jeff got the rights back to it and uh, put out another edition of it himself, you know, and colored stuff and then obviously added more chapters. I mean, this came out in 2006. So if he started planning it, he could do a 20th anniversary edition. It's like a Superman character punching somebody. Using real fighting techniques here. Very cool. I love to see the basics and then you block in the mannequin. Looks like Wonder Woman's getting it on with this bad guy. Uh, visible arrows creating the illusion of movement no illusion here but you slap in those uh speed lines direction lines and boom now you really get it we're here because sometimes when they pull the sword out wee, wee, wow, wow. yeah that's my uh that's my lame sound effects so this is all about creating the illusion of movement here here you can feel it this you really feel it with these burst lines and blurring out like the foot and then here with uh, these directional lines kind of moving in the flow of her figure and his, you really feel it as well. So different ways to show that movement. Of course, you can do the multiple figure thing as well. Love seeing Frank Miller do that in Daredevil. Of course, a lot of artists have done it. Carmine Infantino drawing the flash. You know, it's not a new thing. I think I did it using uh, the Alpha Flight character Puck. And here we go, putting it all together. Great Statue of Liberty. Once again, this is referenced. Drawing superpowers. So different ways to do special effects. You know, this guy's running really fast. So you get the camera like it's focused on him. Everything else is just a blur in the background because he's running so fast. Different types of blasts and stuff. That's a great plane. You know, different ways to show energy. This would be a great companion book to, uh, what is it? Oh, that's right. Drawing Dynamic Comics by me, Andy Smith. Uh, this book would be a great companion for that. And in creating environments, you know, that's very important. Everything starts with basic shapes. You can see them with this to that. All these basic shapes here to create this vehicle. Everything starts with just subtle basic shapes. Uh, this is such a great environment here that he created. Nice forced perspective of this, uh, this room. And you can see he's got, uh, he's got three points. It's actually more than three point perspective because there's one down below, but he's got one point in the frame for stuff going, you know, off to this point. And then points super tight for the other other ones as well destruction you gotta draw destruction start with the basic shapes once you get those down you can start just popping in you know the details and stuff talks about cropping and such once again this background is phenomenal and jeff made that up just beautiful Beautiful work. This is another book that I probably haven't looked at in at least seven or eight years. Now we talk about defining your characters. Dark Cabal. Uh, these are different points on the body to strike somebody. More points on the body to strike somebody this girl might use. This guy's great. As you know, I love the big beefy characters. Beautiful here with the, the motion in, uh, in this. He punches down. You've got the, the destruction here just rippling through. I love this multiple 
shot here of him leaping and landing. Oh, final exercise, different body types for you to design over yourself. So you could take tracing paper and just design right over top of these. So that's pretty cool. And then chapter stage, uh, chapter seven, stages of a fight scene. So he's talking about stages of a fight scene here. Establishing the relationship. So basically where the characters are in regards to each other. And of course the environment. Pulling camera, different camera angles and such. Great shot here. This is drawn by uh, Jeff and inked by Dan Panosian. Another fine artist. Uh, the initial attack. Uh, that's the noises I make when I fight and uh, I don't fight much because I make those noises and I get my butt kicked Final attack. This is a 144 page book and then the finishing blow look at that just knocks that dude out Great stuff types of fight scenes technical and emotional so he goes into the different types of fight scenes. Another final exercise that you can draw into those panels. Putting it all together. So here we go, putting, putting I guess, a page together with the fight scene. And a couple different ways to do that. Hmm, my back. And then other professionals, this is a chapter I know a bunch of guys that are in. So Scott Collins, he's talking about, a little bit about Scott. Then he goes through talking about a page he did with fighting. So you can see, uh, see what he's doing there. His thought process. Brandon McKinney. And he, of course, goes through his page of fighting and what he was thinking. Uh, you know it, there I am, Andy Smith. This page is from my book, Drawing American Manga Superheroes. And I go through breaking down my thought process for drawing this fight scene between uh, manga-style first man and manga-style monarch. Steve Jones, more cartoonier look. Steve is another uh, artist that works in storyboard, animation, and character design. Dan Panosian, breaking down a, a fight scene for a page of his. Uh, Joaquim Dos Santos, just the splash page, but this really shows the composition of making a good splash page. So, Chris Schneck, another fine artist. So you get to delve into other people's thought process as well, and then of course finishing touch. There's an index in the book, short little index. And then the end of the book. So uh, there you go. And a couple reviews from Booklist, School Library, Publishers Weekly, a little bit about Jeff. Uh, you can probably find this book relatively cheap, used. So if you're into fight scenes and want to really bring your fight scenes to the next level, check this book out. Draw Fight Scenes Like a Pro by Jeff Johnson. I have been your hostess with the mostest, 31 year veteran of the comic book industry and your friend, and I want to give everyone a big thank you that has supported me, that watches these videos. Please like and subscribe to the channel, and please support my book, First Man 2 Learning Curve, The Greatest Superhero Adventure You'll Read. Oh, trust me, I wouldn't lie to you. And uh, thank you all again for your support. I'll see you on the next Book Look video. Bye, everybody.
Bet First Man 2 now, live on Indiegogo.